Now guys, imagine that you are alone in the wilderness like this environment here, away from the comfort of your home, away from civilization where you just can buy foods anywhere you like. But here in order to survive, you must know how to trap, how to catch fish, how to catch a bird in order to have foods to survive the days or even a week when you are stuck in the place like this in the wilderness all right so today i want to teach you how to make a trap out from a stone a stick as a trigger and of course gravity that will eventually pull the stone and trap any mammals or any small animals rodents lizard birds underneath that big stone okay so just watch and learn we're gonna do it and I'll teach you how to do it right here right now and because I can't find any big stone I'll just use a hollow block here as a big stone or like that first we plant this stick here you must point sharpen the tip of your stick you know that you can plant it plant it right on the ground for about three inches and see that make a u-shape on the other tip like that you know there that you can put this thing here like that and then we will tie we will tie a fish line fishing line here This will act as a trigger for a switch when any animals step on this string here it will trigger this stone here to fall down okay so plant your stick and then Block here. It's too heavy. Yes. Okay, you bend the stick into a triangle and plant it here also. This will hold the trigger. This will hold the switch. And uh, like that. Okay, Put it here, like that, right here, this will hold the weight of the stone here, so we will put the trigger here, and add a stick here so that any animals would pass here, this stone will fall down, and eventually trap animals that passes underneath that slab or that stone okay guys here's how your crop work I can't find any big stone here so I use instead this hollow block so first thing is to plant this stick right here into the ground plant it for about four inches and then have a stick as a leverage put it like this way and then you tie a fishing line at this portion here and this one is a trigger so we'll put it here like that And 
there's another one underneath next to this stick right here put another one next to this stick this is the trigger what we're gonna do is this stick connects to the trigger Some more tiny sticks, put it here, underneath, like that. Bend it into V shape. Like that, and put underneath. So that any animals, rodents or lizard that will pass here, the trigger will be released and boom if there is uh, any rodents that will crawl here like that so let's try a stick uh, this shell is our rodents or lizard or animals tiny animals that will pass into or under this stone and when it steps over here the trigger will release like that and boom that's what happened to any rodents or lizard that will pass through Take this letter B, and then I will I will replace this. I will replace this letter B with this hook. This time I will use the hook because that B stick doesn't work. Okay, so same thing. In the plant this for about three inches to four inches like that, and then. our leverage stick here same thing and then let's put the trigger here the trigger stick like that like that okay and also add another stick back like this okay we'll swap it we'll use the longer portion or something like that perfect so there it goes okay so Careful with your hands. I told you. Careful with your hands, boy. That's what I told you. Be careful with your hands. Be careful, careful. Maybe you can use a lighter stick. Do not use the heavy one because it will trigger. It will switch the trigger on. You can use this lighter stick here, dried stick. Just be careful with your hands. 
paint. It's really terrible. This time we will use uh, lighter materials to put underneath here so that if any small animal step this trigger switch here this hollow block or this big piece of stone will fall down pulled by the gravity as I told you this trap is all about gravity <laughs> okay for the demo for our demo you can also put some bait here underneath you can put some junk foods or maybe insects so that some rodents, rats or lizard will uh, go underneath this uh, big stone here or in this case a hollow block okay so let's put this thing to the test okay so hang on boys let's put this thing to the test imagine this is your rodent or your lizard and then your lizard crawl 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 and then step boom boom that's what happened to your lizard <laughs> Woo. okay guys so we just perfected our trap now this time we will set it up for tomorrow okay so again I mean your favorite stick. This is your trigger switch. Okay, you have this. Like this way. Okay, and the other one next to the stick above. Like that. Okay, so this is your trigger here, the trigger switch, and the liberates, and this is the fishing line here. You can see that it's a little thin. You can see the fishing line. It's a very thin line. Okay, we will put some bait, maybe a worm or an insect underneath, like that, so that those curious mammals or curious fox rodents will eventually go underneath this trap here that's our bait a live big worm that's edible in time of calamity, end of days, tribulation. You can eat this raw like that, like <laughs> Bear Grylls did in his, in his uh, reality TV show. So let's put it here and then uh, if the rats or rodents or lizard come to eat the bait, this will fall. Okay guys, so we will leave this for about 3 hours, 4 hours and we'll be back later to check if there is something caught underneath the stone or underneath this hollow block. Okay, see you. Okay guys, let's check our rodent trap right there if there is something caught underneath. Let's check trap. One red trap by. Sitting here, look. There is a rat here. It's a live rat. Oh, that's live rat. <laughs> Alright guys, our our trap is working. It really works. We caught a wild Norwegian rat. That's a big brown rat. 
about half a kilo. In survival situation, like in the end of days, doomsday scenario, where the food are scarce, well, we can eat this rat in order to survive because this rat will provide us protein to survive for a day. So guys, hope you like my presentation on how to trap uh, small animals using this kind of trap. Thank you for watching. God bless. See ya. Alright, since this rat is not dead anyway, so I changed my mind to set him free. Set this rat free. Because he is still alive and we will look for another source of food. Since we're not so hungry at this time and I have a compassion for animals, <laughs> Maybe I will set, set you free. This rat free into the wild because I'm not really hungry today. And let's make this rat live another day. <laughs> Come on, rats, run. I'll give you your freedom. Come on. Run to the wild. Run to the wild. Yeah. To the wild. To the wild. Run for your freedom. Okay guys, hope you like our videos. Click like and subscribe please. Ciao.